け We've got um, oh, 1 plus a half okay. x to the 10, so we're going to use this formula. It's just a case of plugging the numbers in. It's great. 1 plus half x to the 10. They want, they want the first four terms. So from there, we're replacing wherever we see n, we're going to put uh, 10. Wherever we see x, we're going to put half x. So it's 1 plus n times a half x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 times a half x when we square it. Oops. Plus 10 times 9 times 8 times 3 factorial, which is 6. 3 times 2 times 1 times a half x when we cube. And look. We wanted four terms, and there's one, two, three, four terms. Now, it, we need to simplify, find and simplify. So, as we work these through, that's one plus five x. Um, now, just really careful with this. Here we've got a half x when we square it, which isn't a half x squared. That's going to be a quarter x squared because you're squaring everything inside the bracket. So we've got a quarter times x squared times 10 times 9 over 2. Um, that's going to be 10. That's going to be 90 over 2, so 45 times a quarter of x squared. So we're going to have that. And then... I'm not sure I want to do this in my head. Anyway, we've got a half x cubed. So that's an eighth of x cubed. Um, it's not so bad, actually, because the eight is going to cancel with that eight there. We've got... Um, is that just 15? Um, that was maybe a bit ambitious. Is that right? Somebody check that. What have we got there? We've got... 10 times 9, so that's 45. Uh, 10 times 9 is 90 over 6 is 15, isn't it? Yeah, good. So that's the sum. Because 6 is the 3 factorial. Right, now it says, hence find the coefficient of x cubed in that expansion. Now, however we've gone about doing this, we're going to do this the same way. In part 2, we're doing 3 plus 4x plus 2x squared, and we're timesing it by this thing here, but we're not timesing it by the binomial bracket there, we're timesing it by our expansion. And we want to find the coefficient of x cubed in this expansion. Now we're not going to multiply everything out because there aren't enough marks allocated for that. We're just going to work out how would we get x cubed out of this. We do 3 times the x cubed term. We do 4x times the x squared term. And we do 2x squared times the 5x term. And we work out what we get from this. That first one, that's 3 times 15. So that's going to give me 45. That's going to give me 4 times... 45 quarters, and that next one is going to give me 2 times 5. And I think, I've just added that right, and we're going to get 100 as our coefficient of x cubed. And that's it. <laughs>